everyone. I'm Dr. Ekta Bhushan, teaching anatomy and physiology of exercise, sports medicine, and exercise prescription at Indira Gandhi Institute of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, University of Delhi. I welcome you all to online lectures of CEC UGC. In this series, we will discuss different topics associated with sports medicine. But today in particular, we will discuss the topic steam bath, sauna bath and hot fermentation. So steam bath, let's start with steam and sauna. So steam bath and sauna are universally believed to be miracle cures. They are ancient healing procedures. Since thousands of years, um, kings, monks and other have had been taking steam bath and sauna to stay healthy, refreshed and cure almost any kind of ailment. Steam bath and sauna are both uh, therapeutic in nature. However, steam has high moisture content which makes steam bath uh, bathing uh, useful especially for respiratory problems like bronchitis, asthma and other uh, allergies. The profuse sweating created by steam bath and saunas cleanses and tones the skin, thereby making the skin healthy, glowing and making you feel refreshed and uh, invigorated. Saunas uh, have some distinct health benefits too. Many claims that they help us in losing weight, rinse toxins, uh, out of the body, lower the LDL, cholesterol levels, relieve arthritis and joint pains and heal several respiratory problems such as bronchitis and laryngitis. So, let's see the difference between sauna bath and steam bath. So, the difference between a sauna and steam uh, room can be defined as simple as dry heat versus wet heat. Saunas provide dry heat while steam rooms generate moisture or wet heat. Both can be uh, can uh, open your pores, loosen up your muscles and help you to relax. Which one is right for you? That's a matter of personal preference. Choose accordingly. So, the conclusive effect of dry saunas and steam bath is much the same. Both makes you hot, induce sweating and increase heart rate. But few are sufficient differences to make people quotient uh, which is better in a contest of sauna bath versus steam bath. The effect of uh, breathing dry sauna air or wet steam is very different uh, for a respiratory system. And the moisture effect skin vary uh, differently too. This, uh, this lecture aims to review uh, accordingly uh, the sauna versus steam room or, and all the effects which we get from these therapies. So what is sauna bath? A sauna bath is a small wooden room designed as a place to experience dry or wet heat sessions or an embellishment with one or more of these facilities. The steam and high heat makes the bather uh, perspire. In simple words, sauna bath is nothing but a wooden room Having any idea inside uh, which is used to produce heat, heat can be produced in an ancient way and that is a wooden burning method. Sauna lovers using this method in uh, traditional saunas to enjoy the old class saunas in uh, 2021. Fortunately, in uh, 2021, we have a wide range of metallic uh, uh, electric heaters comes with different types of features to protect sauna from any cause which can be appeared by using traditional sauna wood burner. Now let's see what is steam bath. A steam room has uh, ceramically 
finished uh, filled with hot moist that is created by a steam generator and sprayed through nozzles uh, located throughout the room and it is designed as a place to experience wet heat sessions. The steam makes the bather perspire to remove their stress and ease of muscle pain. And a steam bath is an uh, antiquated shower prevalent with Greek and Romans. Uh, it is a remedial ideal idea of steam to re, uh, reuciate and general well-being and upgrade the appearance. So, steam rooms makes awesome respiratory conditions with a stickness level at 100% individuals with hacks and lung issues in some cases utilize a steam space to claim uh, to calm uh, and um, in their respiratory frameworks. Steam rooms are additionally more hydrating uh, for your skin than saunas. This is extraordinary uh, for individuals with dry skin uh, who may endure in a dry sauna. And a few people discover steam rooms smoothing uh, however and believe that the damp air is hard to relax. Steam rooms have a spiritualist quality with the air covered in steam while saunas are spotless and clear enough so you could uh, uh, pursue a book on, uh, on the off chance and that you needed. On the, uh, on the off chance that you have oily skin, you may locate that a dry sauna is better in light of the fact that your pores may get obstructed by dampness in the event that you may remain in the steam room excessively long. Now, benefits of steam bath. So, uh, first benefit of steam bath is AIDS uh, respiratory ailment. Steam can clear the lungs of allergens and mucus Steam bathing supplies a dense and higher concentration of vapor than a vaporizer and uh, therefore benefiting those with uh, breathing problems. And steam increases the moisture content in the lungs, throat and nose and soothes breathing passages thus providing comfort to people suffering from blocked nose due to common cold uh, or even asthma. The second one is skin. Heavy sweat uh, is the single most uh, awesome thing uh, for the skin. Steam cleanses the skin by opening up the pores, remove dead skin and dirt grims by making it sweat thoroughly and helps in uh, creating a beautiful glowing and healthy skin. It also improves the blood flows in the muscles. Pain relief. Since ancient times, uh, heat has been used to treat muscular pain. Many fitness enthusiasts, celebra celebrities and professional athletes take steam bath after a workout. Uh, this enables them uh, to release the muscles of stiffness and speeds up the healing process of the tissues uh, broken during the workout. Then relaxation. Steam bath also provides deep uh, rest to the core which is a therapeutic way to heal the system uh, of your body and mind from the daily stress, anxiety and tension. Some of the stress and anxiety related illness are high blood pressure and hypertension which can cause serious problems. If not taken care of, the steam also provides a soothing atmosphere which calms the mind and gives you mental peace. Now let's see the benefits of sauna bath. First benefit and the foremost one is the weight loss. 
This benefit is based largely on claim and not completely true. However, there are plenty of gyms, fitness centers and weight loss programs that suggest SONA as a aid weight loss. SONA actually works as a catalyst and speeds up your weight loss goals. SONA increases your heartbeat rate and body tries to cool itself. Thus, a 30 minutes of SONA session can help you burn up to 400 calories. Then detoxification, sonas help the body to get rid of toxins like lead and lead and mercury. This is based on assumptions that uh, and not uh, scientifically proved uh, to be 100% true. However, since the claim is made by many sonas manufacturers, retailers and sona enthusiasts, you can definitely give it uh, a go. Most of the claims are heard in relation to infrared sonas than the traditional sonas. Then lower the LDL cholesterol. This is another claim made by many sona manufacturers. However, till date there, um, there has been no scientific evidence to support this claim. Simple calculation says that if sonas increases your heart rate, then the heart itself will work its way to process of releasing the LDL cholesterol. Some SONA enthusiasts claim to have felt the difference. So, it's definitely worth the try. Then relaxation. The biggest health benefits of SONA is relaxation. Just like steam bath, SONA provides relaxation and uh, release stress. Sona before bedtime promotes a sound sleep which would regenerate and re uh, recuperate your body. Then other health benefits uh, as mentioned before the heart rate and the blood flows increases during the sona sessions. The increased blood flow to the skin induces heavy sweating. The moisture makes the nasal passage open up, which is in turn makes the sinus drain out. Patients suffer, suffering from arthritis and rheumatic pain can benefit from SONA. So, these were some of the benefits. Now, we can see uh, if we will see the SONA versus STEAM. So, SONA gives us dry heat. And uh, steam gives us wet heat. In dry heat, sonar rooms can also provide wet heat. Uh, but uh, mainly it is used for dry heat first. And there is a provision of a water bucket in sona, which is used to pour some water on lava rockets to maintain humidity and sufficient amount of wet heat inside the room. Where, uh, uh, and steam room is uh, mainly used to provide wet heat evenly uh, thought it give uh, gets heat from steam machine which converts water into steam then in sona there is a wooden room and in steam there is a normal bathroom in wooden room sona bath is mainly a wooden room with a electric heater inside and in steam room is a a uh, ceramic uh, coated room or normal bathroom which is fitted with a hot steam generator by steam generator. In sona bath, uh, electric heater is used. In steam, there is steam generator is used. Then in sona bath, required dry space. In steam bath, it requires steam, um, uh, steam or water. Then in sona bath, there is a uh, ventilation is required in sonas. Ventilation is required to maintain humidity level and temperature level if it gets beyond the ideal temperature. And in steam rooms, there is no ventilation is required. And um, in steam room, there will be uh, no ventilation required because of steam pr pressure. When steam comes out, it requires a packed area stop and uh, let the bather enjoy steam. Now, 
uh, we'll discuss some physiological effects of sauna and steam. So the body tries to increase its heat loss through the skin and lungs. If the environmental temperature exceeds uh, that of the body, the only way to have heat is through sweating. As the cutaneous circulation, uh, circulation increases, heat is accepted more rapidly by the body from the environment. Body temperature range from 99.6 to 104 degree Fahrenheit. Thus, the physiological changes that occurs during the sauna are due to the rinse rise uh, in the body temperature and the influence of the relaxes of hormonal uh, and nervous system that attempts to increase the heat loss. And metabolic rate increases from 12 to 20 percent and circulation increases from 30 to 40 percent. Pulse rate increases less in clients uh, uh, accustomed uh, to um, sauna than in those taking it for the first time. Then at uh, arterial blood pressure, systolic blood pressure drops to 10.4 megahertz and increases by 5 to 20 megahertz uh, when water is through on the stones. So, values uh, begin decreases when the steam passes, dystolic blood pressure only slightly decreases and venous blood pressure increase by 60% in the healthy person, by 40% in hypertensive uh, subject due to dilation of skin vessels and the opening of uh, arteriovenous shunts. Then sweat, no marked loss of fluid occurs through the lungs since the high humidity uh, saturates the inhaled air with water vapor as the air cools in the respiratory passages. There are great individual uh, variations in mean weight loss and electrolyte content of sweat, sodium, uh, chloride and potassium. So, there are some indications also. So, steam bath indications include the uh, easing of the arthritis, fractures, sprain, sciatica, chronic low back pains, preliminary to tonic, uh, uh, tonic cold and eliminating stores toxins, a uh, free flow of perspiration will be uh, will often relieve the extreme pain in arthritis, gouts and sciatica and other issues. So, finished sonas indications include relieving fatigue, arthritis, rheumat uh, rheumatize uh, and skin problems, uh, recover after exercise, increase circulation and ease air accident victims or arthritis patient functions. Now, some contradictions. Infection, bacteria and fungi prefer damp, warm environment with little light. This makes steam rooms uh, perfect breeding grounds for infection to spread. Dehydration, steam room temperatures range from 110 to 160 degree Fahrenheit with 100 percent humidity. A great deal of perspiration ensures and dehydration can be uh, a result. Then spatial health conditions, patients with respiratory diseases, heart palpitation, high or low blood pressure, diabetes and the elderly should consult a physician before entering a steam room. Pregnant women should avoid them uh, altogether. Steam rooms have a negative effect on blood pressure which inhibits oxygen flows to the fetus and may cause birth defects. Now we will start with the hot fermentation uh, physiotherapy. So let us see what is hot fermentation. Hot fermentation is a local moist heat application over an area of means of two uh, thick pieces of uh, flunel or uh, other soft material 
or wrung out from the boiling water protecting protected by water soft covering and wool or bandages and hot fermentation is a defined as process of applying moist heat to localized part of the body so purpose is to relieve pain and congestion to relieve inflammation to relieve uh, retention of urine uh, to relieve intestine intestinal and renal colic uh, to stimulate nerve ending to stimulate uh, persistence uh, to provide comfort and warmth to relax muscles to promote uh, suppuration and to apply sterile uh, compression on wounds so there is a classification simple fermentation uh, is um, there are several types of uh, hot fermentation first is the simple fermentation boiled or dipped in a boiling water is used for fermentation is called simple fermentation then medicated uh, fermentation drug is added to the boiling water for fermentation and it is applied to unbroken skin used to relieve um uh, tympanitis tympanitis by increasing the persist uh, persistences and relaxing the muscle spasm then surgical fermentation this is this is a fermentation of broken part of skin like over an open wound the purpose is to relieve pain and muscle spasm to reduce swelling and congestion and to accelerate the process of suppuration then area of application can be whole uh, of the back and sides axilla or covered to relieve congestion of kidney joint stiffness or inflammation of the whole joint or some area above the joint in case of stomach pain the area of application is uh, from uh, upper and uh, un umbilicalis and both sides of abdomen now some general instruction make sure the skin is intact not scored or abraded the skin is smeared with little vaseline oil before application the skin is covered with layer of uh, warm cotton now let's see the method of fermentation so first method is boiling water uh, method uh, fold a large bath towel lengthwise and twist as much as possible place the middle three quarters into the boiling water and let it become th- uh, thoroughly sco- soaked and lay it over the towel placed on the patient's body if the towel is very hot then soak completely and wring out uh five large bath towels uh, or fermentation pads in water then place enough water in the canner before the grid and boiled it for 20 minutes uh towel or pads should not touch the water then microwave method a uh, take a large uh, uh bath towel soaked in a cold water ring out all all the water posi- uh, possible then place the single towel in a black plastic garbage bag or other strong plastic bag then place the bag into the microwave oven and turn it to high for 4 minutes until the steaming or quickly remove towel and use it for the body surface uh, if it is very hot place a dry towel on the skin area before applying the very hot towel okay so uh, now we will see the after care sessions observe skin for any paler extreme redness and pain and discomfort remove and reapply as needed for the uh, better effect after removing gentle dry pad play replace the article after cleaning wash hands thoroughly record the procedure in the nurse a nurse's record sheet now we have come to the conclusions so the benefits of steam bath uh, for weight loss are well established it detoxifies your body by discharging 
the toxins through sweat losing a, a liter of sweat is equal to losing 1 kilogram of weight loss sonas also has similar benefits but it uses dry heat instead of wet heats now fermentations are simple to prepare which means they are accessible to moist everyone uh, uh, even though even those new to herbs and could use these application method easily and effectively fermentations are specially helpful in treating strains sprains cramps and almost any inflammation uh, area of the body coughs and congestion also benefits from the type of treatment so i hope you understood what is contrast bath and um, uh, contrast bath and sauna steam bath and hot fermentation methods and when and how to use both the modalities and with their techniques and that's all for today see you next time thank you